What's up, guys? I'm Doc from SampleKings.com. And of course, we do lessons, not just make videos here on YouTube. And you can also subscribe to us here on YouTube. But to get even more, join us right here. It's just $25 for a one-year membership. You'll be able to download over 100,000 samples. Plus, you'll get recording contracts, everything you possibly could need to have a really great experience dealing with recording your music or the music recording process. Now, we also give lessons. Even if you're not a member, you can get lessons from us right here. You can pay with PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. These links work right here to those apps. Now, to book time is very simple. You come right to here, samkins.com. It's just 20 bucks an hour. If you're a member, it's just 15 bucks an hour. Of course, the codes are here to pay with Cash App and to pay with Venmo. If you want to book a session, you come down here and say you want to book a session with Logic Pro and the new update for Logic Pro. You come right here and say, well, look, I want to work with you on Friday. You come to Friday, pick the time you want to work. Maybe it's 4 p.m. when you get off work. You write your first, last name, your email address right there. If you're in America, your telephone number here outside the country right here. And also, tell us what you want to learn during that session. Once you finish doing that, just press book and book it right here. It's pretty simple to do. Any questions, hit us up at samkings.com. You know why? Because our phone number is right there. Let's reload the page right now, and you will see that our phone number is right here. Don't be scared to call. We do answer. And if you pay for your session, it's booked. Okay, I got this track right here I want to get. I'm going to go right here into Chrome Audio Capture. I'm going to press Start to Capture. I'm going to come over here and press this James Brown track. I like that. I'm going to come back here to Chrome Capture. I'm going to say, you know, save that. Boom. There it is right there. That's it. Download file as custom name. I click on that right there. I'm going to put this on my desktop. I want a desktop right there. And now I'm going to sort of name this thing here. It's just like a groove. So this is uh, really past the P's. But I'm going to come back to here and just get out of this past the P's and go back to here. Oh, yeah, doing it. Okay. I call it Pass the Peas. I come back to him and save it to the desktop. Boom. It's saved right there. Cool. Now, I'm going to make a file of it. So that's saved. Get rid of Chrome right here. Cool. And now I want to get it and drag it into here. Now, where is that file at? It should be up here under uh, this. Yeah, there it is, past the P's right there. So what I want to do is get down to here, put it in the sample pool, and grab past the P's here, and just dump it right in there. Oh, we got something now. So now I have my sample here, and this is the James Brown sample we have right here, and we want to create stems from the sample, all right? So I'm going to come here to create stems, and it comes up here. We want the vocals, the bass, the drums, and whatever else is another. Now it's going to be program one, and I'm going to put it on a pad. So I see I have nothing here on these pads. I'm going to go to, I'm going to put it on pad, let's see, 13, right there. Great. Let's press do it. Now once this is done, we should have four stems on one pad, pad 13. And we'll see them also in the sample pool. And here we go. Sample pool's right here. The bass, the drums. We got other, and then we have right here, the vocals. Now, I want to put these on separate pads now to see if it's really that good. I'm going to come to here. I'm going to take the uh, bass and put it here. I'll take the drums and I'll put it here. I'll take the other and put it here. I'll take the vocals and put it right here. So now I want to hear these back separately. So I'll press the play here. I'll just hit it. Okay, that's the bass line. Sound like it's in a crowd, but it's there. Like it's almost like live, right? We can almost hear the room sound here for the drums. 
And then we got this here. Okay, that's the guitar and the saxophone and the vocals. Whoa, and there's James Brown right there at the end. Okay, now those are the stems right there. What I want to do now is I like to save this. I'm going to come to here, and I'm going to save this project. And I'm going to call this Pass the Peas. Okay, and I'm going to press Save. Overwrite. Excellent, so we got it right there. So now we're gonna close out of this and we're gonna go to Logic Pro. Okay, here we are. We have past the piece right here inside of Logic Pro 11.2. I'll come to here now. I wanna go to process. We're gonna use the stem splitter. Now here in stem splitter, we're gonna take the vocals, the drums, the bass, the guitar, the piano and other. Now in MPC, there's just four actual stems, right? So we're gonna apply this to this track and now we have stems pretty quickly, that's really fast. Um, and that's uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna go out of here, solve this. I'm gonna press play from the top. Guitar. Drum. What's this here? Drums. And this is the vocal. This is my, the vocal with James Brown, nice. That is clean. Everything is cleaner than it was in the MPC. But what we want to do is take this stuff and put it on the MPC, right? Easy to do. I'll come right to here. I'm going to get a new instrument track. Software instrument track right here. And this is going to be an MPC track right there, right? I'm going to come to here. I want to load the MPC into it right here. See that multi-output MPC? I think I moved too fast there. And you see it right there, right? And so once I have that going on and the MPC loads up, we want to take these samples and transfer them to the MPC. Now to make this easier, I want to select all these files here. The only file I don't really need is this file right here. And nothing's there at all. So I can come to here and I'm going to probably delete this file. So I'm going to come to here and delete Nothing's really there. Cool, and now here's my MPC right here on time. So I wanna come into MPC. I wanna load the track that I had before, which is, here we go, Pass the Peas. We load it up, and now the sounds are all here. Everything's here the way it was before. Got that. This is simple enough to do. Now what I want to do next is I want to go to here and I would like to at least find a place to store those samples. So I'm going to go to here, I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to go to desktop. Here's my desktop right here and on my desktop I want to look for a folder. And my folder is logic stems to MPC. I believe this is it right here. I'll click on this. Logic stems to MPC right there. Good. Okay. This is great. And my XPJ files right here too. This is great. So I'm going to store it right there. So I want to make sure I can store it there. And so what I want to do next, and then I want to take these files. I want to export them. I'll come here to export five regions. Now this box comes up right here. Trim silence at file end, great. Wave, I want 32-bit float. No aliasing right there, that's great. Now I want to find my folder. So I want to go to desktop. Here's my desktop right here. I want to like hide this. I want to find that folder. Well, where's that folder at now? It's going to be logic. There it is, Logic Stem to MPC, perfect right here, see? So I already got the whole file here. So what I want to do now is probably make a brand new folder, maybe put it right here, right? 
I'll make a brand new folder. I'll call it logic stems. Just for now. And I'll put it in here. Create. Good. And I'm going to save them right to here. I'll say export. Now they're all exported there. To prove this, I will go back to here, my instrument track. I'll pull up the NPC. And the NPC is right here. And there's a Logic Stems folder right here. Let's open this up. There they go. Now to make this easier on me, I will come to here. Okay, I want to add these files. All these files and put them on here. And now they're inside that session. That's great. So what I'm going to do next, I want to save this. I go to here, I go to file, and we want to save the project. Boom. This project is saved, right? And that's my project, which is called Past the Peace. And you can see it here. Recents. And there's Past the Peace. Great. So now I want to close this out. I want to quit Logic Pro. Quit. Don't save. And now what I want to do is I want to open up MPC 3.5, all right? Now watch this. I'm going to come to here. This is Logic. Here's the Logic stems to MPC. Here's that file I just made. I'm going to right-click this, and you'll see open with the top choices, 3, MPC 3. And I have MBC2 as well, and I have MPC Beats. So I'll select this. Okay, this is really cool. So now it's opening up, and there it is. All the files are here. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we can actually take this with those files and send it directly to our MPC, you know, if you want to. It's pretty simple to do.